Alrighty, what is up everybody? Now I actually wasn't going to do a GRT video today, but when I saw this I had to. Right now I have closed all of my GRT positions and we're going to go over why and why this is an extremely bearish movement. Now you can see right off the bat we broke below this dark blue line which is our 50 day moving average. Not a good sign. Now that's okay because we could retest it and pop back up, but Looking even further, we have a very bearish divergence between the price action and the Wilders Index. Bearish, bearish. We have high, or lower highs being made on the RSI or the Wilders Index. We have higher highs being made on the price action. That means our price is going up, our demand is going down. That is not something that we want to see, right? And that led to this massive drop right here, which now is starting to look like, you guessed it, a bear flag right we come down on the flagpole we go up now right here I actually think is going to be our point of dropping further and you know me I never like to give bearish sentiment but I have to warn you guys on this one now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Fibonacci retracement now most people take it from a low point to a high and you can see where you retrace but we're gonna use the inverse we're gonna take it from the highest point go down to the lowest point which is right here and you can see we're actually finding, and I'm going to move this line right here, we are finding the resistance at the 38% retracement to the top. Now what does that mean? You know, using the Fibonacci going up, oh, I don't know how my drawing tool, you know, using the Fibonacci going up on a bull flag, you would then use it to find a retracement before you go higher. Now inversely, we are using the Fibonacci to go lower, in which case we're finding our retracement to the upside here before we go lower. Think bull flag, flip the bull flag upside down, you got the bear flag, and it looks like that's what we're doing. Now until we break below this 164, we're not going to have serious confirmation. Let me go ahead and remove all the drawings here for you guys. So I can show you guys exactly what we're looking at on this flag. So we are looking for a break. And then let me grab the horizontal line here and pop it right there. So we are looking for a break below this, a retest for confirmation, and then you can either exit your long position or you can short right here. Now if we break above, right, if this bear flag turns into a falling wedge and we then rise higher out of it, I'm going to be looking for this 50 day uh, moving average to be broken, retested, and then I'm good going long or I'm good being stopped out of my short position. Granted, I'm not going to take a short position unless we get below right here, right around this 170 or wherever it occurs that we break this wedge, confirm the downside or this lower uh, ascending line here. Okay, if we confirm that I'm going short or I'm being stopped out of my long, we go above this 50. Okay, now we, we're actually riding the 200 right here, right? We've had one, two, three, four, five, six of these kind of double candles where we were kind of flirting with this 200 day. So we must maintain above the 200, test the 50, confirm above the 50, and then I'm good to go long. Now, just like to the upside, we can use this extension to the bottom side, right? So we can take point A, we can take point B and then point C to where we actually retraced and then we can say all right if we are moving down then we are looking for a move back down to 156 ish and then below that we're looking for a move down to 150 before we catch course and consolidate again now notice our stochastic is also at the very top I don't know why that clicked our stochastic is at the very top and our MACD is looking like it's losing steam and going to the downside as well Okay, now I hate to make videos like this with a bearish sentiment. I know about 20% of you do have the short interest, but the other 80% of you have the long interest. So I like finding those bull runs or those pre-pop uh, bull kind of breakouts. Um, but in this case, I definitely feel the need to warn you. And as I'm making this, we're approaching the lower side of this wedge or the lower side of this uh, bear flag, right? So I'm just wanting to let you guys know that now is a really good time to reevaluate your position in GRT. Mind you, GRT is one of my longest holds. I've held GRT since about 38 cents, about 40 cents. If you're a subscriber, then you know we've been following it for a long, long, long time. 
So definitely hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button to trade along with us. Two links down below. The first is going to be the Discord community, which is completely free for you guys. The second is going to be this trading view tutorial video so you can learn how to trade or learn uh, how to practice your technical analysis on a live market environment without having to pay anything. I'm not an affiliate for TradingView. I don't get anything if you go and use their site and you don't have to pay anything to use it as well. So if there is uh, a symbol, whether that be stocks, futures, forex, crypto, um, bonds, whatever, uh, what have you, you can leave that ticker down below and I will get to uh, that technical analysis for you. So I will catch you guys on the next video.